So family night lesson number three is actually the first family night lesson the Hare family ever did together. So for nostalgia, I want to bring this. Neither of my kids remember it, of course, because they were three and one. But I remember it because it was the first one. And this lesson is about the power of an invisible God. The concept that God is invisible, and yet we can still know that he's alive and at work in our world. And we can explore that with the kids by looking at other things that we know of that are invisible and yet still have an impact on our world. So for instance, we could all stand in our chair. So if you wouldn't mind standing in your chair, I will be off screen for a second. I'm not sure quite on the screen. So if we stand in our chair, <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. You're my, you're my resistor attitude over here. Oh. Sign waivers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So we're standing in our chair because there's something invisible between us and the ground. If I step off of this chair, what will happen? Out of fall. Why? Gravity. Because gravity pulls us. Anybody seen gravity? But even though we can't see it, we can see its effects. So we could hold out something and drop it and see that, or we could jump off and ugh, experience gravity. Come on, everybody, experience gravity. Enthusiasm. This, this is great for a three-year-old, by the way. I can see the, uh, like, ah, uh, <laughs> made you jump out of the chair. But that's OK. So <coughs> gravity is one of those things that we can't see but we can know that it has an influence on our lives. Uh, what's another thing that we, we uh, is invisible, but we can see its effects? Anybody think of something? The wind. The wind is like that. Air. Air. In fact, in my Family Night book that we, that we did this out of, each lesson has a, uh, I forget what they call it, some sort of tagline for the lesson that the kids are supposed to memorize and recite and enjoy. Oh, it's a slogan. At the end of each lesson, there's a slogan in here, and the slogan for this lesson is, just like air, God is there. That's the slogan. Just like air, God is there. And so, of course, air is invisible, but we can see it because the wind blows flags, right? Pass around some balloons. We can see other effects of wind. I'm going to light my candle. My candle on the candle. It's not. Everybody got a balloon? Working on it? We're picking trouble. There's nothing not fun about balloons. Balloons are fun in So if you bring a balloon to family night, it's a fun family night. It doesn't matter what the lesson is. <laughs> so if we blow up our balloon, But you don't have to have an air zoo to do this. 
So, air. What does the scripture say? He's like, well, what? Is there any lesson to this? Is there any scripture? 1 Timothy 1.17 talks about the fact that God is invisible, but he's powerful. And John 4.24 says even more, he's not just invisible as in he's nothing. John 4.24 says he's spirit. So he is something, just like air, gravity. Oh, we didn't even do magnetism. I brought magnets for fun. So you can, if you have magnets at home, you can include those two. These, these magnets are awesome. You spin one around. That makes the other guy roll around. Anyway, magnets. magnets are fun. You can play with the magnets. Kids can play with the magnets. It's, it's fun. And then you say, look, magnetism, you can't see the magnetic force in between the objects, but you can see its effects. God is spirit. He's not visible to us, but what do we know that assures us that he's had an effect? We saw gravity's effect. We saw air's effect. We saw magnetism's effect. What has an invisible God done that we can see and be aware of? Got you stumped. I exist. Yeah, creation. He created us. Yes. Yeah. So just the fact that we're here and we exist and we can talk about it is evidence that God exists. What else? This is a fun discussion you can have with your kids. Young kids will be coming up with, oh, but there's giraffes. Yeah, giraffes. God made giraffes. For older kids, you can talk about, look, when, when I pray. There are times when I actually, I don't hear a voice, but I get a sense that God is leading. Sometimes when I read his word, I experience transformation that lets me know God is at work in my life. So there's, there's all kinds of ways that you can, and you, as a family, you can just talk about what experience you've had that affirms to you that this invisible God through his spirit is at work for real. Anyway, that's the family night lesson, object lesson, example number three, which you can try at your home.